Hi, welcome to the daily vlog where I'm going to vlog to you. Vlog to you. I'm going to vlog for. We have to say vlog that way. So. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this and the background is kind of messy but we're gonna have to make this work. Move this first. Okay. Hi and welcome back to the Beautiful Things and Memories vlog. This is Elena Kino from elenakino.com and for today, I'm going to talk to you about making better content. This vlog is based on a blog post as usual which you can find on my website. Every week I create content, right? So every week I also reflect on things that happened in the past week. and. And how I do this is that I write on my journal, I jot down some notes about the learning moments that I had from the last week. And this is what I've learned so far. In making better content, I think ultimately what you learn along the way will make you better and improve your content. Say hi first to Mr. No, not Mr. This is Mama Penguin because she's a big one. And this is Baby Penguin because she's a small one everybody is a she in this house though so lesson number one your content will not get better if you stop creating regularly so for short create regularly right because it's the only way you're able to learn and the thing is content creation doesn't have to be such a chore if you're into content creation there must be some part of it that you like there must be some part of it that you think is fun like for me i think vlogging is fun but at the first few minutes of this vlog i felt like i had to go again to my ring light and then record again in a very formal setting in a very formal way and talk in a very formal way and everything is just formal and neat but in real life things are not neat right like this one that's not neat so you have to you have to find a way to make content creation fun for you so that you keep going back to creating content right and you're having fun while doing it that's one of the big things for content creators especially for multi-passionate content creators is that you have to really enjoy what you're doing <laughs> since you've chosen the content creation path then this life is now for you your life is creative now <laughs> your life is creative now and you know there's no turning back lesson number two you don't get what you don't ask for so for short ask ask people for what you want ask people for what you need ask people for what you think is best for you also because you know sometimes we ask in behalf of other people because we want the best for them so why don't you want the best for you also you are also deserving of the best and you are worthy of the best so i think ask and i i have a little problem with asking because I'm just not the kind of person who asks people a lot. If I ask people, I feel like I'm being dependent on them. And I'm all about independence. I'm all about independence and I don't want to be dependent on anyone. But at the same time, I know that that's wrong because we were not made to be alone. We were made to be with other people. We are social beings and therefore, Audrey, she's being a social being right now. <laughs> And therefore, it's okay to ask. It's okay to ask people for what you want or what you need. Lesson number three, just put your thoughts out there and reply to comments. And this is one big thing for me because I usually don't reply to my comments as soon as possible because I tend to mull over the comment. I tend to overthink sometimes. I overthink. And this is one of the things that I'm trying to learn because as I'm going through all of this, I think to myself that, you know, if this is what I really want to do, then people commenting is just a natural part of the process and me reading those comments and replying back to those people is just a natural part of the process and so put your thoughts out there but in a way that makes it fun for you because if it's not fun for you then you will tend to lose enthusiasm for your content along the way i think we're in the fourth lesson now the lesson number four put in the time every day to record or film yourself so even if you don't post it even if it's just for you, you could record yourself using voice notes or the voice memo on your phone or you could record yourself or film yourself and know what you can improve on, especially if you want to start a podcast or a vlog. It's a good idea to try to film yourself every day if possible and if it's not possible as much as you can. Okay, this is getting to be a very, very chill vlog now. I always look back to my previous videos and I always look for the things that I can improve on there. The fifth lesson is to just get to it get to the task just do it sixth lesson is to cut back on the non-essentials if you're spending too much time on a platform that you don't really like or you're not 
it's not your main platform anyway like for example when you're on facebook and you're not looking to be on facebook you don't have to go there you don't have to be there you just have to do what is essential for you right we want to save time here we want to be efficient here and also don't do it because others do it you know just because you find people on these kinds of platforms like for example if you, for example just for example if you find people on instagram stories all the time you don't have to be on instagram stories all the time if you don't want to be there but if you want to be there then you can try to be there and just improve your improve your process along the way and lastly consistency is the byproduct of believing in someone or something i'm not very fond of the word consistency because i frankly think that it's a little boring but that's okay we're just still gonna use consistency here because there's no other substitute for it right if, if you're not consistent with the work that you're creating then you're gonna have to find a way to make things more interesting so people will come back to your content so you really have to believe in yourself and you really have to believe in the thing that you're doing i feel like that's the only way to be consistent for me if i believe on the things that i'm doing i am more much more regular in doing it than if I did not believe in it and I was not so enthusiastic or passionate about it. So I guess that's all the lessons that I learned for week 19 of this year, 2020. Check back tomorrow for another vlog. See you again. Take care. Hi, it's me again, Lynn, and I created a product called Digital Content Creation for Multi-Passionate Creators. And it's for you if you're feeling like you're stuck because you're not clear as to what your foundations are if you want to start creating content online, if you don't know how to talk about your content in a way that's heart-led and intuitive. This ebook is for you. I take you through not just technical aspects of creating a site, podcast, and vlog, but also content coaching. And this is for you, especially if you're multi-passionate because, you know, we have so many different goals and sometimes they're not related and sometimes we lack clarity and focus we don't find enough time to go for the projects that we have i hope you get a copy of it and if you do message me i'd like to thank you personally thank you if you've already bought it and if you haven't yet check it out i hope it helps you